In this video, we are going to be working with fractions. So let's read the problem. Kayla has four piglets in a competition for best piglet where multiple prizes are given out for different attributes. If three piglets receive prizes, then what fraction of the piglets won prizes? Simplify your answer and write it as a proper fraction. Okay, so first, let's remind ourselves exactly what a fraction represents and what part of what each part is. So a fraction is made up of a numerator and a denominator. And a fraction shows a part of a whole, okay? So our denominator is the whole, okay? So that's the total amount that we're talking about that is available. We can't go higher than our whole. Our numerator is the part that is just being considered. So that's part. Okay, so our numerator is the part that we're talking about. Our denominator is the total of all the parts. So let's look back at our question. So Kayla has four piglets in a competition for best piglet where multiple prizes are given out for different attributes. If three piglets receive prizes, then what fraction of the piglets won prizes? So our total number is four. That's our whole, so that has to be our denominator, okay? So that's the total number of piglets that we possibly could talk about. Now, the part that the question is asking us about is three, because three piglets can receive prizes, so therefore, three-fourths is our fraction. Three-fourths of the piglets won prizes. And we can't go any lower than this. This is as simple as we could get. So this is our answer, three-fourths. Ethan has three piglets in a competition for best piglet where multiple prizes are given out for different attributes. If one piglet receives a prize, then what fraction of the piglets won prizes? So let's remind ourselves our fraction shows a part of a whole. Our denominator shows the total or the whole. Total, whole, okay. And our numerator shows the part, all right? So just as a, a reminder there. Okay, so how many total piglets does Ethan have? Well, it says that he has three. So three is going to be our denominator. And then it says one piglet will receive a prize. So that means one third of the piglets won prizes. Okay, Ryan keeps his horses at a public stable. There are three horses at the stable. If Ryan owns two horses, then what fraction of the horses in the stable belong to Ryan? All right, so we remember that our denominator is the whole, so that's the total, okay? So there's a total of three horses, that's our denominator, and if Ryan owns two of the horses, then what fraction of the horses in the stable belong to Ryan? So two is our part, so that's our numerator, and two thirds of the horses belong to Ryan. And we can't simplify this anymore, so that's our answer. Okay, let's see. Kayla got her friends to watch her do push-ups and count the ones with proper form. Out of four push-ups, three were proper push-ups. What fraction of the push-ups were counted? Okay, so there was a total of four push-ups, so we know that is our denominator. And then three were proper push-ups. So that is our part. So three-fourths of the push-ups were counted. And we can't go lower than this. This is a simplified form. So our answer is three-fourths or three-quarters. 
Anna is practicing baking. Two out of every four cakes do not turn out and must be thrown away. What is the fraction of cakes that are thrown out? Simplify your answer and write it as a proper fraction. All right, so what is our total? So our denominator is going to be four because that's our total number of cakes. And now what's the part that we're talking about? It's two out of every four. So it's going to be two fourths. So we don't wanna just write two fourths though because it tells us to simplify. Okay, so the way that we simplify fractions is that we have to divide the numerator and denominator by the same number. So that number for this one, the least common is two. Our greatest common factor is two. So we're going to go ahead and divide two divided by two and four divided by two, and that will simplify it for us. So two divided by two is a one, four divided by two equals two. So our simplified fraction is one half, which is equivalent to two fourths, but we want it simplified, so it's one half.